Hey guys, I have a little trick to demonstrate how cheating your cards would happen in a card game. So we'll give the deck a couple shuffles, a couple cuts, and we'll have a card selected. Let's say this one right here. We'll give the deck an honest, genuine shuffle like they do in certain casinos. Just like this. Thoroughly mixing up the cards. And I'd have the spectator give back any shuffle that they like. And now I'm going to try and demonstrate how certain uh, certain sleight of hand techniques at che in cheating the cards work. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is holding out. So usually I'd have the spectator take the deck at this point and tell me if they see their card anywhere. anywhere in the deck, and if they do, just tell me to stop. Go through one more time. and it's not there. So that's the first thing, holding out. The card is actually not in the deck, and it was a second ago, so I'm holding the card separate from the rest of the deck. The next technique I'm going to do is uh, sort of a mix of locating, stacking, and bottom deal. So we give the deck a shuffle. Retaining a bottom stock. And I already located them. And this is bottom dealing. So let's say we have four players to deal to, including myself. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Just like that. Three cards I dealt to myself would be the three queens, which I were holding because I located them, and I bottom dealt them to myself. Now three queens, that's a pretty decent hand, a three of a kind, but it's not really a game winner. A four of a kind, on the other hand, with the fourth queen that just happens to be your card that I was holding out would give me a four of a kind one of the strongest hands in poker thanks for watching